Hi everyone, welcome to yet another Fanganrompa. <laughs> we know the drill, um, we're playing Danganronpa single file this time around. Uh, obviously, as per usual, I will leave the download link within the description. So please go check it out, please go show as much support as you can. And um, yeah, let's uh, take a look. Uh, I don't know uh, much about this. I believe this is made by a content creator by the name of AIM. Um, and so I'll leave the channel to, uh, oh sorry, the link to their, their channel within the description as well. Um, I believe they do a lot of Twitch streams based on other Fang and Rumpers and whatnot, and I heard that uh, my project, Alternexus, is going to get covered very soon, which I am very excited for, so yeah, I'll definitely uh, check that one out. But regardless, um, let's get into this. Oh, one other thing um, that I did hear about is that this is planned to have less chapters than a normal Danganronpa game. Uh, I believe it's five chapters and 14 characters or something, but yeah, I mean, it's that's cool, like, just, yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure it's still going to be super innovative and super cool, so, uh, the art looks amazing. I've seen a lot of the artwork, and it looks incredible, so let's hop right into this one. Um, he reminds me of someone, wasn't there, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, like, a 5Ds villain <laughs> that looked like this? I don't know, I might be wrong. Let's take a look at preferences, let's see what's up. Okay, and uh, displays... And music volume. Okay, I think that's that's all good then. About? Okay, that's just all the... Oh, oh, I see. Whoa! There's a lot... Oh, wait, is that... There's voice acting. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I didn't realize. Um, but yeah, okay, they have a, a Discord as well, so check that one out. But let's hop into this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. Okay, then. Wait. It will contain spoilers for Dung and Romper Trigger Happy Havoc. Is this like a sequel or something? I don't know. Um, but okay. Uh, do I just click? Okay. Would you like to skip the prologue? Absolutely not. I want to play the prologue. Oh, hold on. I'm going to turn the volume down a little on my end. Okay. Uh, very well. I welcome you to. Welcome me to what? Dung and Romper. Single file. Is this another program situation? It could be. It's just like subject and tool on either side, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. Whoa, I like the art. It's very like cartoony, but also really stylized in this kind of anime way. I like it a lot. Oh, sorry, I didn't even, I'm so sorry. I, I skipped over the prologue title, but okay. All right, hey, you're awake. What's more, you look almost healthy. It looks like you're even ready to speak. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm sure you've um, all realized this by now if you're familiar with Fang and Rompers. Uh, apparently this one's made in Rempy. I've never worked in Rempy, but uh, what was that other one I did? Um, it was, uh, what was it? Singularity Game? Or whatever it was called. Um, that one was also in Rempy, so, um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's interesting. It seems to be the most popular, uh, tool to make stuff like this, so, alright. Finally ready to tell us all a bit about yourself. How about your name? Do you remember that much? It's customizable? Oh. Shit, okay. Alright, I'll just go with my <laughs> with my username then, I suppose. We'll go with Tatsunami. Alright. Enter. It's actually progress. I've been calling you the prisoner the whole time, but based on how you're dressed, I'm pleased you decided to be more forthcoming. Okay. Is that recognition I see in your eyes? It's almost as if, for the first time, you're really looking at me. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Okay. Oh, this may be the first time my introduction has had a chance to register, so I'll repeat it one more time. M motherfucker is looking like a chess piece. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Zadie? Z Zadie, I guess? My name is Zadie. I'm the ultimate spy. I suppose I may actually be the master of spies now, given recent offense. Fucking checkerboard looking ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. And then the recognition ends. I can see that you don't catch my meaning. I, l I love the fan with the eyeball. It reminds me of those, you know, those cursed, like, art projects where it's like a wallet, but it has, like, a realistic mouth on it or something. Oh, jeez. Anyways, okay. Maybe maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that, but... All right. we'll, hand we'll handle that in due time. For now, let's focus on you. If you look at my chest camera, you should see yourself reflected in the lens. Do you recognize yourself? Whoa, <laughs> my, okay. My. It's quite a frown. I suppose we all like to imagine that we look better than we do in our own reflections. Oh, well, um, homie here's got the Ahoge, so I'm sure... That's the protagonist, but okay. Although that's the sour face you're making, this is the first time you've worn an expression other than a dull stare. I welcome it. 
Perhaps in due time, you can tell us who you really are, in your own words. How about your surroundings? Do you recognize where you are? Hmm. Okay. Red. I wonder if... Yeah, and all this music is original as well. I mean, I'm sure it said it in the credits, but I wonder if it's free to use or if it's composed. But regardless, it's really impressive so far. Really, really cool. Way better than what I made. <laughs> but uh, no, we shouldn't be comparing fan numbers. I can see that you don't. That's a shame because I'm afraid this is going to be a difficult for you to hear. We're in class trial instead of killing it. Already? Okay. The class trial's occurrence co coincides with a murder. One of the 15 remaining students here has killed one of their colleagues. Ah, so maybe I heard that it was 14 characters because one of them already gets killed off right in the, the start of the story or something. Oh, okay. You really don't know anything about killing games, do you? That makes you nearly the only person in VR in the, uh, sorry, in the entire world, I imagine. The rest are what remains of society either fears them on a daily basis or actively instigates them. I can't go over every detail with you right this moment. Wait, did that fan change expression? Like the eye? <laughs> is that like a part of this character's body or like is it like some other like AI or something? That's kind of cool. Alright, I can't go over every detail with you right this moment, but let me share with you the basic gist. A creature called Monokuma has trapped us inside the walls of our school and has offered us one chance of escape, killing our fellow students. Interesting, because I saw like the, what do you call it, like the camouflage pattern looking Monokuma at the start of the disclaimer screen, so... Hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, the class trial is the murder's chance at escape. The killer tries to hide his uh, tracks and pin the blame on someone else, while the innocent students try to smoke them out. In the end, we all make a vote. If we correctly ident identify the killer, they are alone are executed. If we do not, all of us are executed and the killer goes free. You're always asking, how do I know you aren't the killer? Answering honestly, you don't. Oh, now it turned red. Okay, maybe it is some sort of AI device. Class trial will give us all an equal chance to investigate and cast blame. It involves scrutinizing evidence and forming debates. So if you examine all the evidence and decide that I'm the one who's guilty of murder, then cast your judgment upon me. And I will do likewise. ZD. <laughs> my my. My my, he speaks. He even used my name. What a rare pleasure. I didn't commit a murder. I couldn't have. I didn't even know what's going on here. Hmm. You understand, don't you? It sounds like I was nearly a vegetable all this time. It's not possible that I could have committed a murder during that time. I think not. I mean, if you had multiple personalities or if your memory was wiped, <laughs> I'm just saying a lot of these things happen in, in these types of games, so... I'm glad you've re recovered some... So uh, sorry, so I can't... Sorry, I'm so sorry, I can't talk. I'm glad you've recovered some sense of self, but I'm not going to pity you in a scenario like this. I don't think uh, today's my day to be recording, but whatever, okay. Can't afford to, and neither can the others. It's gotta be uh, some way out of the killing game. We can't honestly, honestly be planning to kill each other to escape. If uh, if we all just pass time, perhaps somebody will come to rescue us. Rushing this into a trial, especially with me in this state, is just uh, asinine. And yet we have no choice. Nothing we do will halt the killing game. Almost any attempt to, uh, to sorry, almost any attempt to would simply end in the execution of the majority. If you really do want to prolong your life, you should do so by debating during the game. Can we tell Monokuma I'm, I'm unfit for the trial? Let's tell him that I'm only waking up just now. He might let me out of the trial. I don't know myself or you or anybody else in the room. I think not. No. N no? He wouldn't listen. That bear has no sympathy for anyone. Your only salvation is to make it through this trial. If you're innocent, then trust me, I'll work to my best of my abilities to bring that fact to light and clear your name. If you're not innocent, then it's still in the best interest to participate in the trial, I'd say. Maybe that path pathetic face of yours will win somebody over. Oh, I'm, I'm vibing with all the sprites so far, though. They're actually really cool. I love the thick um, outline over all the, the character portraits. They're really nice. Well, wait, I still have more questions. Homie, you need a new shirt before questions, I think. But, okay. She's taken up a podium opposite mine in the courtroom. I see 13 others in there besides her, and I don't recognize a single face. What am I supposed to do? All I can do is take my own spot and play along. For now. Alright, you, <laughs> right, you do, General. It's quite down. What were you two doing over there? Making out? A little early for that kind of plot development. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Zadie, why don't you handle layering out the details of the case so we can start debating? After all, a spy is the closest thing we got left to a detective at this point. Okay. You have it. If I must, then I shall. We're just hopping into a trial? Oh. Through the neck? Jeez, that's brutal. Wait. That looks like ZD's outfit, though, what? 
Unless all of them are dressed like that, apart from the protagonist, maybe? I don't know, not clear. We'll begin with the circumstances of the victim, whose body I discovered just this morning at 10am. Monokuma provided the autopsy report shortly after. The details of this report must be considered fact within a killing game, and must include any details of a coroner would be required to note. The victim's name is Zeta. He is, or well, I should say was, my brother, the ultimate spy master. Oh, maybe that's why they're so similar looking. The murder weapon was not confirmed by Monokuma because it was not present at the scene. I have suspicions, but we'll get to it. We'll, sorry, but we'll get to those later. What we do know for sure is the cause of death, a lack, uh, laceration of the throat. I've actually never <laughs> seen that word before, I'm guessing it just means like a stab through the throat. A single large cut was made across the victim's neck, nearly severing the head. Death was almost instant. It's pretty brutal for a dumb romper game, but okay. The body was discovered on a conveyor belt inside the school's workshop. That conveyor belt runs into a furnace until at the time of, uh, sorry, unlit at the time of the discovery. Signs of restraints? Bound strongly enough to crack the bone can be seen on the victim's arms and legs. It seems likely that some sort of machine was used to hold him in place. Also, just uh, quickly going to point that out. I have noticed so many fan games don't have outlines on their text, which this game does have, and I'm really thankful for it because it's so easy to read. So thank you for doing that. I don't know if that was a subconscious choice or if that was just like the default, but it looks amazing. So keep it up. <laughs> I uh, yeah, the font's really easy to read. So. However, the body was unrestrained at the time of the discovery, and it had been left there like a pile of garbage. The victim was left broken and covered in his own blood. I can't imagine a more brutal end. Okay, to think that Zadie lost her brother that way, it's terrible. I think that her attitude towards this case isn't just a matter of her own survival, it's probably personal. I wonder if, um, uh, this isn't just me being petty, um, but, uh, yeah, like, I wonder, like, I don't know how the coding works, I'm not too sure, but... Maybe, like, I, I get that it's italic, so it means it's the characters in a dialogue, but maybe, like, uh, using that blue tint, like they do with the Rampa, it might make things pop a little more with the green. I don't know. Um, again, that might be me being petty, and if it is, then uh, pay no mind to what I just said, but regardless. Okay. It's actually amazing how much sympathy she managed to show me already, giving her own cir uh, circumstances. But still, it's like she said earlier. I can't afford to back down either. If what she said is true, my life and everyone else's is, is riding upon proving I'm not the killer. The best thing for us all to do right now would be for me to try to understand every detail of this case so I can cast undue suspicion of... No, suspicion off of myself. Right, okay. I know I'm not the killer, I just need to help everyone else understand that. I wonder why they're suspi- um, why everyone's suspicious of ourselves, I guess, of like this character here. The case screen has been updated with relevant info. Everyone else is keeping quiet, they're letting ZD handle all the questioning. It'll be up to me to ask the questions then. Oh, okay, so this is a little different to the standard, um, class trial, but this is interesting. We got, um, a couple options we got. I'm guessing, um, from what I can understand, at least with the Singularity game, um, Rempy seems like a tool that's helpful for branching paths and stuff like that, so I can totally see this having multiple endings and stuff. Um, but I'm just gonna go with gut instinct, as I always do. What should I ask about? I will ask about... Well, we kind of know that what the what the murder weapon could be, right? It's some something sharp, so that, I think that's fine for now. My behavior, we can get to that later. I want to talk about alibis. Let's see who else is suspicious. Maybe throw someone else under the rug. That might be a good thing to do. All right, let's take a look. Okay, the good news, the details of the alibis won't be hard to remember at all. 13 students were assembled together for morning breakfast during the only conceivable hours the murder may have occurred, 7 to 10 a.m. We all saw him alive when he entered the room to sleep the night before. The room's each locked with, uh, sorry, the room's each lock wait the sorry the rooms each lock with one single occupant i can't tell if i'm just really dumb or if that's a typo <laughs> i'm so sorry i don't know um okay i it's saying that there's a lock per room okay i get it 7 a.m is the earliest allowable time to roam the school he never reported into the cafeteria for breakfast i went out to look for my brother around 8 30 a.m when he fell to appear the school was rather large, and I was searching alone, so it was 10am before I finally discovered the body in the dark workshop. One other person is missing, an alibi for this time as well. The young man standing behind the podium across from me. Is that me? Do you understand what that means? It means that either you or I committed this murder. Of course, he could have taken his own life through some inexplicable means, or perhaps someone set a trap to be activated remotely. That's what I was gonna say. A lot of these are just like, there's so many dang robber cases where it's just like, the killer always has an alibi, and then it's like, oh, but there's this hidden thing that's going on in the background that's working, you know, like, automatically or whatever. So it could totally be that. But I'd say we ought to examine the simple conclusions before jumping to the impossible ones, wouldn't you? 
This is terrible. With evidence like that, I know one thing for sure. Either Zaydi is the killer or I am. The fact that I can't remember the events of the past few days or even this morning will only make me more suspicious. The field of potential suspects has narrowed significantly. I can see how this debate is going to go much more, uh, more, wait, go, yeah, much more clearly now. I think that might be a typo. But again, um, when I, whenever I mention anything like that, like, please pay no mind to it. I make typos as well. So, yeah, we're all human. <laughs> so far, I'm blown away by how, how good this game looks. So, yeah, and I'm, I'm loving every bit of it. So, and I think it's really unique. It's got the Danganronpa touch, but it's very different. Like, the UI is different. The background are different. I think it's nice. The case screen has been updated with relevant info. Oh, we have a case thing. I just realized. Whoa. Whoa, whoa this is cool. Oh, this is amazing. I've never seen a fan game do something like this. It's actually really cool. Japanese descent. Male, 24 years old. Died by hemorrhagic shock. I probably butchered that. Huh, that's actually so interesting. Okay, can I return? Okay. What's prefs? Is that just my options? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I might do a quick save. Um, or not. Uh, save? Okay, I might just save just in case the- I'm not saying the game is gonna crash, but you know, just in case my recordings, you know, messes up or something. Okay, what should I ask about? Um, oh, okay, we can go through everything. Oh, okay, that's nice. I, for a second I thought it was like a, you know, be all do all. You know, you do one and then they all disappear. My behavior, let's take a look. Ah, to explain the rest of you, our prisoner here has found a bit of, uh, his personality and speech ability. His real name is Tasunami. Other than a scrap of his personality, he seems to have no memories whatsoever. A classic game of partial amnesia, often found in the killing games, only this time, near total. I am actually kind of curious why, like, what decision was made to make the character have, uh, like, an inputable name, if that makes sense. Um, and I say that because, like, if it's sort of, like, to put yourself in their shoes, then... I mean, okay, like, I understand this is an early build, so maybe stuff like this is planned in the future. Um, but it'd be cool if you could, like, choose, like, a gender, or, like, choose, like, char a, a character design or something. But I completely understand that, um, you know, you'd need to make a ton of different sprites and stuff, so that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, it was, it'd be interesting to find out why... Um, a name input was used, and I'm not saying that in a bad way or anything, I'm just genuinely curious because I've never seen it before in a, a fan game ever, so it's really unique. Um, but okay. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think I read this line. Um, if I didn't, it was talking about we, us having amnesia and whatnot. However, you're interested in your behavior up to this point, not this new self you're showing us. You've been acting quite suspiciously since the beginning, never talking, barely acknowledging anyone around you ex uh, except to stare at them. I'm the ultimate spy, but I must admit, I sometimes feel I'm the one being spied on. Plus, you have quite the poker face. The sour fran you're wearing is the first hint of emotion you've portrayed the whole time you've been here. You've, yeah, you've betrayed, yeah, okay. Moreover, I haven't seen you eat. I haven't seen you go to the bathroom. I'm a spy, so I know to watch for th uh, these behaviors that make up a person's daily schedule. It's almost as though you're some sort of doll, a ghost, something like that. You know, it could be an AI. I mean, with all the game stuff in the beginning, I feel like it might be. Some might say that you are so completely immoral. it's hard to imagine you're doing much of anything, let alone committing a murder. Others might think of it uh, as an act, perfect science to prevent yourself from providing any incriminating information. I have my own thoughts on the matter. Okay, <laughs> that's true, I really can't remember a thing. That makes me highly suspicious right now. People trust those that will converse with them and build relationships, especially in a situation like this. What could be more untrustworthy than a man who keeps his mouth shut until the moment a murder occurs and he needs to defend himself from suspicion? Is there anything else I can ask that will be a tad less incriminating? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, murder weapon. There was no murder weapon left at the scene, however, it's what's not at the scene that will be of interest. The workshop is full of tools that could, in theory, be used to cause a deep laceration like this. Most of them are still in place. One single tool is missing, an implement called a Robo-Exacto Knife. The Robo-Exacto Knife appears at first to be a cylindrical tube similar to a flashlight. However, when a button is pressed, a large blade pops out from one end. Ah, uh, so it's like a... Um... What's the thing? It's like when they have the walking cane, and it, but it's actually like a, a sword or something. <laughs> Um, or, or like an umbrella, and it, like, it comes out and it's actually a sword or something. The blade has a very fine edge, which I understand modern ro uh, robot roboticists, is that right? Used to cut through the material, forming the flesh of automata or automatons, I guess. I 
theorized that this uh, missing item must have been used to kill our victim. If there's one thing I find strange, it's this. The Robo Exacto knife is itself designed to be wielded by an automa automaton. It is too large and unwieldy to be used by most humans. The ro robo uh, roboticist would typically have an assisting machine to grip the device for him. If a victim were to be killed by something like this and by human hands, they would have to either be restrained or so deeply asleep that their body didn't start or twitch uh, awake. At the very least, the lack rotation would be much less clean otherwise. Hmm, okay. Interesting. This was a very interesting that we haven't... Oh! Um... Wait, what was that? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I accidentally scrolled and it changed, um... Dialogue? Or did it go to the next one? Uh... No, that's fine. I think... I'm not sure. It might be a backlog. Oh, maybe it is a backlog. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I was... I didn't mean to do that. Um, no, I'm just, I was just saying it was very interesting that we still haven't met any of the other characters. So, I wonder if that's, like, intentional? Or it's like, oh, this is actually just... We're in a program, and this this character's the only one that's actually there, kind of thing. I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's a little sneaky that we haven't seen any character, any other characters yet. It's, yeah. If a victim were to be killed by something like this in my human hands, it would have to either be restrained or... Wait, no. Yeah, yeah, I read this, didn't I? Oh, sorry, I might have backlogged and go, or gone back or something. In case you're thinking that the cup might have been left uh, after another different uh, killing technique, I'd ask that you recall Monokuma's autopsy. We know the cause of death was a uh, hammer. Ha I can't read that word. Hammer hardjack shock brought on by the one single lac rotation. Lac rotation. I don't know. How, how, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's too many sciencey words. Um, there's nothing in this description that seems to increment me. But there's an obvious contradiction in the detail of the murder weapon. I'll note it for later. Okay. I have all the info I need. Let's keep going. I'd say we've gone over all the essential information so far. This case is fairly cut and dry. Cut and dry like the guy's neck. I'm so actually, no, that wouldn't be dry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> nearly everyone has an alibi, so you can hardly blame them if they let us slug it out between ourselves, doesn't it? Unless you'd like to open with an accusation, I'd leave with my own theory. I think it'd be too hasty to accuse anyone just yet. The cockets only just started on this trial. Um, wait, is this him thinking? I guess? I don't know. Even if we're out of the clues to investigate, perhaps if we could put our heads together, things would become clearer. If you could describe to me the events since we arrived. Whoa, that's a cool sprite. That's actually such a cool sprite. Wait, what is she holding? It's like a computer mouse. I know it's not, but <laughs> what is that? Is it the f Oh, it's the fan that's folded up. I see, I see. Okay. It's you, you're the killer. If I'm the uh, only- If I'm only explaining things for your benefit, then I'm not gonna waste my breath. You will save us time if you admit it yourself. Oh, this is a bob. I like this soundtrack. Whether you remember doing it or not is secondary to the fact that you are the true culprit. But if you do wish to argue, then I'll lay out every observation so that you, not even you can deny your own guilt. You're making a mistake, it's impossible that I killed anyone. I have no malice towards any of you. I didn't even know about the killing game until I woke up a few moments ago. Why would I have taken it upon myself uh, to murder anyone? I think not. That convenient bit of logic only works if we assume that you were una unaware of events until this trial began. It would be reasonable for all of us to assume you were faking that vegetable s veget vegetative state. There we go, got it. I see you've chosen to prolong the trial. I can hardly blame you, it's your only lifeline. Then, do you have an alternate suggestion for who the culprit may be? Who would you like to accuse? Zadie. <laughs> I mean, it's the only other possibility, right? I hate to say it, but... If it's between your innocence or mine, I could believe in anyone over myself. I know, I know I'm not the type of person to murder another human being, no matter what the reason. I'll continue to believe that until the very end. Hmm, I feel the same way. If we must fight, then I'm glad you've adopted the right attitude, at least. Each of us is fighting with our life on the line, let's at least do it honestly. To so prove I'm wrong about you if you can. Time for the first Oh, it's your only chance to determine the true killer, so we'll have to take it seriously. Your logic store is set to 100 default. If you mistake him- Oh, okay. There's actual consequences here. Let's save. This might be the first- Yeah, this is the first Fang Yan experience I've had so far, which might have a game over, so... A little worrying. Let's see how- Let's see what happens. Okay. And I'm saying that because most prologues, you know, you can't really game over with them, right? So. If you make a mistake, you won't lose a trial, and you'll lose points for the logic score. Okay, try to keep the score as high as you can. You'll be re rewarded at the end of the chapter for this score. Ooh, okay, during the trial, you'll be faced with crosstalk from the other two. Uh, everyone else has an alibi. We're the only two who could have uh, possibly committed a crime without using some sort of remote weapon. Oh, the killer had to 
Whoa, everyone else was together in the cafeteria. The other shoots made me noisy, but keep your attention on the one who has the fall. In this case, that's Sadie. Once you've spoken, it's your choice to pass or attack. If you attack, you'll have the chance to pick which piece of evidence contradicts the speaker's claim. To be fair, I don't really know much about the crime this time, so this, mm, we'll see how it goes. There is no contradiction here, so it's best that we pass. Choose pass for now. Okay, interesting. This is cool because it's like, I can feel that the creator has, is using um, what's possible within the engine, if that makes sense. But it's, it's in a new, innovative way that seems really fun as well, I feel. Either one of us was capable of using the now missing tool to murder my brother. Whoever it was used that tool, whoever it was used, whoever used that tool maybe? And it disposed of it later. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Stamen said, yes, 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 I'm, I'm starting to say it now. If you have a hard time remembering your clues, why don't I check the clip, a case tab at the bottom of the screen? Okay, okay. You can do this even after choosing an attack. Read the uh, details of the possible clues carefully pick the right piece of evidence. You can instead choose a pass. The student who has a flaw may begin to repeat their statements. Oh, I see, I see. There's no penalty for repeating, so perhaps you should listen to every statement before deciding which attack. Okay, she said um, either one of us is capable, but she said before that you had to use a robot assistant or else it wouldn't be a clean cut attack. Um, uh, Robo Exacto Death, right? Okay. Eureka! Eureka? <laughs> okay. Okay, I appreciate that you're doing your best for the sake of the class, but you're moving through so quickly, you failed to notice an error in your reasoning. Earlier, you stated that, that the robo exacto knife isn't a tool that a human being can easily use to kill somebody. It's designed to be used within the workshop, uh, with the assistance of machine guidance. Hold on, can I just make a quick suggestion? That was cool, I like that uniqueness, that was cool. But, um, it'd be even cooler if you made the screen rumble as well, I feel. Um, just, you know, just a little thing that I, I thought up of. Anyways, okay. How do you propose either of us uh, use it to kill your brother? Hmm. You have it. That's a good point. Now that you bring it up, the tool looks like lighter than it is. While its size is similar to that of a flashlight, it's not hollow. The handle is more of a bar designed to be stable within the grip of a large vice. The amount of copium this this woman is smoking right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it is not so simple for a human being to lift one and strike another person with it. Oh, you are backtracking so much. However, this is also accounted for. You remember the restraints, right? There was a clear evidence that my brother was tightly constrained by some sort of high-pressure restraints later removed from the scene of the crime. If held in position by those, it would not be so difficult for either one of us to plunge down the blade and inflict the wound to his throat. Is that true? Because why would... I guess, I guess she was the body discovery. I was, I was about to say, why would she know that he was restrained? Because he wasn't restrained in the picture, right? In the, in the discovery. But I mean, if she was the first one to discover it, then I suppose that could be a possibility. Um, okay. But where were the signs of the restraints? On the arms and the legs, right? His neck showed uh, no such signs. The only damage to the neck was that of the killing gash. Gash? Gash is a funny word. I like that. Um, he, <laughs> he would have tried to wiggle his neck, right? could simply have been knocked out or put to sleep first, we have no way of knowing. Don't we? The only reason he would have fallen asleep was some sort of drug, right? I can't imagine he'd fall asleep naturally just after leaving his room at 7am. The autopsy, autopsy report didn't mention any trace of drugs in his system. As for being knocked out, there was no mention of a bruise or anything like that. So the facts aren't as cut, as, cut and dry as you thought they were. Yeah, they're cut and wet. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Um, okay. I assume you aren't just going to leave it at that, right? You must have some alternate theory. I've thought of something else that may have caused him to stay prone and vulnerable while this murder occurred. What if he was approached by someone he trusted? He might not even have caused to look at them. That would have make uh, that would make using the Robo Exacto knife as a weapon much easier. <laughs> my, my my, you're turning it around on me now. What a devilish maneuver! You can hardly blame me in a circumstance like this, can you? It's a very a very clear observation. One that leaves us back at some zero, as it lacks much in the way of explaining how I managed to plant that weapon in. But it gives the others just enough reason to pause and ponder my potential guilt. Well, pl oh, I really like the yellow fans, the cutest, I think. That's actually super cute. I don't know, people, like, my friends say I have a really weird sense of what, what I find cute. Um, I don't know, like, what's a good example? I don't know what, what a good example is off the top of my head. Like, I guess Monokuma, I find Monokuma really adorable, but some people don't. Some people are like, yeah, no, that's creepy. But there's something about, like, inanimate objects, I guess, that have cute expressions that I just go, okay, that's kind of adorable. And this fan here, um, I hope it has a name. <laughs> um, this fan here is very adorable in that sprite, I like it. Yeah. So 
this is what you call a stalemate, right? Why- why is he blushing? <laughs> why is he blushing? Is he getting turned on by the- <laughs> the class trial? Is he like Ishimaru? No, maybe not. If neither one of us can prove anything, I know better. I know I'm not the killer. Can you really say the same about yourself? I think not. It's my duty to gain back the momentum for, uh, for everyone's sake. Okay? If you're going to propose wild theories, perhaps you'll allow me to, uh, one of my own. Your proposal is that I use my relationship to, Z to Zeta to get close to him and murder him when, uh, while he was unaware. That would require a serious lack of precaution from one called the Ultimate Spy Maker, don't you think? But I digress. If you won't allow me my theory on the restraints, then let's start back at square one. What is ordinarily required in order to use a Robo Exacto knife? The aid of some sort of machine. Usually that would re refer to a robotic arm or very specific technology, wouldn't it? I didn't see anything like that inside the evidence photo of the workshop. What if it was something more mobile, like for instance, an aut automaton, by which I mean a robot designed to blend in as a human? That's nonsense. Where do you propose we could uh, find this automaton? You can't pull something like that out of the blue. What a wild theory. For now, perhaps. But when we run out of concrete evidence to examine, wild theory is all we have left to dig into. Humor me for a little while, if you would. In some cases, the presenting students may latch onto a wild theory that nobody else believes. However, there could be evidence to support that theory. In certain situations, it may benefit everyone if you support rather than attacking. Wait for the right moment to support, and then show just the right evidence, just like with an attack, okay? It might seem scary to support ZD in this situation, but remember, finding the truth is good for the whole class. There is no one among us, I'm not making the joke, um, who has demonstrated what I think of as the strength of the machine, not yet at least. Okay, I agree with that. Um, okay. Sure. Uh, uh there's no... Okay, support. Uh huh. Um. Uh, victim. You act acting the fool. Just okay. That's not right. Please keep. Uh, okay. There's no. Um. Wait. It's. It is a support. I just don't know what areas that we're meant to be using. Support. Crime scene. Is it saying that the gash on the neck doesn't make sense if it was a human cutting it? Maybe. Oh my. Wait. Is that not right? <laughs> Oh no, okay. Am I really this dumb? I don't- okay. Support. Body discovery. Wait, are we meant to not support? Didn't the tutorial just tell me to support? Um... Pass? Wait, wait, what does support mean then? Oh wait, huh? <laughs> Wait, no, no, okay, so pass goes to the next statement. Oh, I see, I see. I was, I was confusing that. I'm sorry. But couldn't there be automatons among us? We haven't had a chance to see anyone's blood beside my brother's. Okay. I agree with that, I suppose. Pass. Okay. Let's look at it another way. Beside the strength, has anyone else d a demonstrated other behavior befitting an automaton? Okay. We're all human, sure. Um, I'll pass on. There's no... Huh, the strength of energy, okay. Mm, okay, so it's looped back around. Um, we haven't had a chance yet. Yeah, okay, I agree with that. I agree with that. Let's look at it another way. Besides the strength, has anyone else demonstrated other behavior behaving an automaton? Mm -mm. What if... Wait, support? Um... <laughs> My amnesia? <laughs> I don't know. Is it not? Don't tell me, it's not on the tip of your tongue, isn't it? Fuck, it's not. Wait, I don't know. I don't know how to demonstrate other behavior befitting an automaton. I think it's this line. I just don't know which evidence I'm to use. My behavior. The victim? The victim... Uh, I, I I don't know, I was I was trying to str- uh, This was like the biggest stretch that I could think of, but I was like... If... If, if you know, if the robo knife cut through the enemy- the, the victim and gashed at it so perfectly, maybe their skin is different? I feel like that's the biggest stretch ever. But, I mean, I don't really have much other choice. Fuck, it's not this either. I don't know, I don't know. I'm sorry. But okay, if I pass, because yeah, it's gonna go around. 
There's no other person that has an automaton? Yeah, sure, okay. We haven't had... Beside my brothers. That's right, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, support. Did I, wait, shit, did I do victim before? My behavior? I did my amnesia, I remember. My behavior? Eureka! That, that's right? Wait, what did I do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. I just remember what you said earlier. This does feel like I'm playing a Danganronpa game, because usually in the trials I'll redo the thing like five different times. <laughs> You've captured that authenticity out of me, for sure. Okay. You haven't seen me eat anything- That's right! That's right, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. You haven't seen me eat, eat anything, drink anything, or go to the restaurant. So I got here, have you? Yeah, I totally knew that. And based on just that, you're honestly going to excuse me of being- uh, accuse me of being an automaton? That's completely absurd. You can't be watching me all at all times. <laughs> my mind. On the contrary, that's my job as, as the ultimate spy, and I take it rather seriously. If you don't believe me, we can check the footage I have on my ca chest camera. The class was together for nearly the entire day yesterday. You didn't move from one spot the entire time. For those few moments where I didn't record you, I'm sure the others would testify the same. In fact, you barely even blinked. Wait, wait, I admit that sounds suspicious, but... Maybe there's another possibility, like... Like, what if I was a replaced? The me you saw yesterday was an automaton, but the me today is a fresh and blood sorry, flesh and blood human, not fresh. I mean I guess I'm fresh as well. That could be it, right? That explains why my behavior is so much different today than it was before. You have it! I'll explain it rather neatly, I'd say, except we actually have a way to test this, don't we? Nothing so gruesome as cutting you with a robo exacto knife, although that is what it's made for. Monokuma, would it be possible for you to clear up the issue for us? You did invite him after all. Tell us, is he a human or machine that will save us the unwanted gore? Okay. Huh. I wonder why he's shadowed. Like, I wonder if that's just the we're waiting for the sprites to be made, or if that's just like a, a genuine reasoning, and it's actually like the the other designed bear at the start of the game, or and also down in the uh, in the icon. I mean, you guys can't see it, but um, anyways, okay. Huh? You're asking me now? Well, you know what? I don't know either. It's not something that comes up very often, you know. Luckily, I have a way to clear it, clear it up. Okay. Did he just slice us? What? Jesus, okay, the bear has attacked me. There's a blade hidden inside the podium. A knife's point came out from the wood right here. I was holding it. It's cut my bloody hand. Is he... Is he British? <laughs> like with the Eureka thing as well, and now he's saying bloody hand? <laughs> is he British? That's amazing. Are we in physical danger apart from the trial here? I... Okay. Hmm. What? There should be blood coming out, but my blood is jet black. It doesn't smell like blood, not oil, but something else. But I can't... It can't be. This is a trick. It's all a trick. The bear kidnapped uh, us, right? The knife just now. It was some kind of trick. Like, it changed the coloration. The blood wiped onto the blade, maybe. Or, or I don't know. Something. Look at me. Listen to my words. I'm not a machine. Hmm. Something else about machines, too. They're designed to be controlled. Who's controlling this one? And is it really even a matter if a machine is the one carrying it out? Is it possible that the real mastermind is here? Can we carry out an execution against a machine? Well, I mean... A certain chapter of the first Danganronpa game would uh, prove otherwise. We sure can. After all, I recruited this thing thinking he was a real ultimate level student. And you've seen how realistic this guy is. He walks, talks, and now he even cries like a baby. I've had executions against machine... Uh... Less human... Wait. Machines less human-like than this guy. Oh, I see, yeah. If he was being controlled by someone else, then even I don't know where they are. You're perfectly within your rights to execute him. After the vote, of course, gotta keep things democratic. The buttons are on your podiums. Feel free to hit him at any time. Wait. Wait! Oh. Okay. J just a bit longer, okay? Again, why is he blushing? I don't <laughs> I still got more ideas. I can come up with something else. There's still time, everyone. We find the real killer. There are other inconsistencies. I know I've got it. Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, missing weapon. The missing murder weapon. Do we find the robo exacto knife? There's no way to say that I'm the only one who could have killed him. The real word murder weapon could be something else. Okay, what else could have made that tremendous gash? It was so deep it nearly cut my brother's head off. Whatever did it, we have to assume it was some sort of clean cutting machine, like an industrial sharing press. I don't see it, uh, one of those, even in the workshop, so. An automaton with a robo exacto knife is really the only good answer. I can see the protagonist dying and then. Us continuing the story 
and like our memory being loaded up into like another robot or something right it's like <laughs> listen to yourself that's insane it's been insane from the moment you first presented it there's still time there's still time we're gonna come up with a better answer oh do i have to do everything here furnace why oh, the conveyor belt belt why the furnace we don't understand the scene of the crime yet whoever the killer was it seems like they were trying to dispose of the body we can't vote until we understand every piece of evidence Hmm, I don't think that matters now. In fact, I'd posit that the killer simply murdered him there, cleaned the area, then disposed of the weapon and the cloth. There was plenty of time to do all that, especially for an advanced automaton that would have no trouble moving the body. Why are you in such a hurry? Um, oh yeah, I think... Yeah, did he... he said the same thing, right? Um, maybe I just plead. I... I... I don't even know who I am, I don't remember my talent, my history, my favorite foods, my family. I just learned I'm a goddamn robot. I have no memories. I don't even know your brother. I've been given no opportunity to recover any of my memories. My motivation in this case is still a complete bar. Please, don't execute me. I've recovered a bit from my personality today, right? Maybe in another day, the rest will come back. I just need more time. I think I'm sorry, you don't have another day. The trial has, be has to be concluded. This isn't just about my brother. Correctly naming the perpetrator of the murder is the only way to save all 14 of us humans. <laughs> Why was I made? Who made me? Why the hell did they brainwash me into thinking I'm a bloody human? Again, is this is this man British? I don't know. After controlling me to murder somebody, if I'm just a tool for murder, then why did they uh, give give me this shivering feeling of despair running through my spine? I have no memories, no chance of amends, just a crushing realization that I committed a murder and I'm going to die for it. Who would do something like this? Hmm. The only people who would do something like this are the agents of despair. I can't offer you much, Tatsunami, but I can promise you at least this. Despair. I'll find the ones who did this to my brother and to you. I'll make sure they pay for the crimes. I promise you this is the new Ultimate Spy Master on- Wait, uh, I, I promise you this as the new Ultimate Spy Master on behalf of myself and my entire organization. Despair, the agents of despair? You seem to know a lot about them. Everyone here does, but I don't. I don't even know who you're talking about. Something about that actually feels strangely comfortable. You get the feeling I'm better off knowing, huh? It's a terrible burden you and the others have to carry. I suppose I accept it now. I guess I was behind the murder after all. I'm glad you saved your classmates, they do. I'm sorry about what I did to your brother. He knew the dangers of his professions. Our uh, profession, sorry. We were both prepared for what could happen to us. Gathering both the ultimate spy master and his next of su succession in one place was a devious move by our captors. I appreciate you thinking about my brother. To speak with you now, I can't imagine you murdering Zeta. The one who used you like this is despicable indeed. I'd have liked to learn more about myself. I have no memories. I can picture places and people. But who knows, if I ever even see them in person. I'd have liked to have a chance to pull all of that together, or at least see the outside of this room. In the end, it's better that you escape, even if I have to die. You have a chance to find whoever's behind this and stop them. As an automaton I'm under someone else's control, there's not much I can do. I'd probably only be used to commit more atrocities. In fact, I'm starting to feel like being executed is the best thing that could happen to me. Because ever since I awoke uh, inside this courtroom, all I fear is more and more despair. I admire you for being able to live in such a world. <gasps> no, no! There's nothing pleasant about an execution. I'm sorry, I should have told you the execution isn't a simple thing. This is the greatest tool of despair, it's... Alright, alright, don't give everything away. It'd be more fun if he doesn't see it coming. Hope you're just generous, made your votes yet. Cast him now, or face the penalty. There's no choice. I've voted for myself. The others, w uh, the others will have done the same. Besides, I'm sure my death is the best outcome here. There's no point feeling regret but I will allow myself to feel a little relief. All of you finished with your eternal de uh, internal debates. It's time for my favorite part. Let's, who you Let's see who you degenerates have decided is being executed today. Everybody, check the whiteboard. <laughs> it's a whiteboard? Okay, 30 prisoner of them. Okay. Here are exciting contestants. I hope you don't mind. I kind of lumped together all you <laughs> unimportant guys. I wonder why. I wonder if the sprites are, are done or not. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to throw shade at you. Um, but okay, yeah, fair enough. Okay. And here are our votes. The beauty of the democratic process just brings a tear to my eye. What's this? It was anonymous. Uh, that doesn't happen very uh, often. But I guess robots are used to uh, doing what they're told, huh? Boop, boop, boop. Isn't it nice to be popular? You got every vote, Tazunami. Wait, I'm actually really interested how they're gonna do... Um the execution within like the limitations of this engine because like I haven't gotten up to my execution I've only done a full uh, prologue but yeah okay everybody give him a big round of applause of course nobody's clapping 
Should I feel a sense of camaraderie over that? Is it better if they all avert their eyes in shame? I think I'd rather have been applauded for my sacrifice. No clapping? Well, I like that look on your faces right now. Except you, Zadie. Can't see your face at all. Any final words for this guy or your brother? Despair! This won't go unavenged. I'll punish all agents of despair on behalf of both my brother and Tazunami. Tough talk for a gal who's locked into a killing game. There's still plenty of time to kill you off. Speaking of killing, mind sitting down in the big metal chair over there, prisoner? <laughs> Wait, can you tell something first? Uh, you said you abducted me by accident, thinking I was a different ultimate. Which ultimate did you think I was? Hmm, we addressed them uh, where we found you. Anyway, would have called you the ultimate prisoner. But now, seeing what I've seen, I think I'd like to call you the ultimate something else. But if I said what, everyone would call me a liar. So I'll keep it to myself for now. The rest of you schmucks can do the investigation in your own time. No more stalling. It's execution time. Okay. Whoa. Ultimate upgrade? Oh, wow. Whoa, this is actually animated? Okay. Uh, okay. The head comes off. I see. Because it's a robot. I get it. Head opens up. This is actually really well animated. Ha wait. I actually don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh, are we just... Oh, I, I guess we're just getting into the intro? Oh, I see, I see. So it's the intro, but they're showing characters while also doing the execution, I see. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, because I only recently found out about this one, so I don't actually know how long um, it's been going for. Oh, I like the, the girl in the Chinese dress. I also have one of those, actually. <laughs> um, in the hippie, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna- by the way, I'm actually not looking at the ultimate talents for a reason. Um, because I want to be surprised when I actually get introduced to them. So, yeah, look at that. It's like Monokuma, but army, <laughs> I guess. Commander Kuma. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. There's all the Monokumas down there. Featuring cutting edge all operating system. Okay, oh. Exploded? Okay. Oh, I see. I was trying to experiment and control it with the phone, but it exploded, I guess. I see. <laughs> Single fire. Dangan Romper. Well, there you go. I love the logo as well. It's fantastic. Okay. Well, I guess we'll end it off there. Um, it's about a 50-minute uh, video. Um, but because it did say, did you want to skip the prologue, I'm guessing there's more to it. Um... So I will see, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe in a few few days' time, um, I'll record another one and I'll post it up. So I hope you all enjoyed um, this, uh, well, this episode of this fang, and I guess uh, Danganronpa. Um, I literally just saw it. Um, what whatever it's called, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> it's gone above me. But um, yeah, no, I had a ton of fun, and it looks amazing. And there's animated cutscenes as well. How cool is that? But, oh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely um, keep up to date with this one. And we'll see where it goes. So, yeah, hopefully you, you all enjoyed this just as much as I did. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.